Let's let's play that clip of Nancy Pelosi. Like, you know, I don't know what motivates this. I'm trying to find like what is the political value of this now? Conceivably, I have a couple of um, of ideas in my head. One could be that this is just driven by donors, although that seems somewhat silly to me. But maybe two, it could be one of those things that uh, Pelosi always wants to to make it seem like she is the. Uh, you know, uh, from a public standpoint to seem like uh, very reasonable because she feels that this makes the Democratic caucus seem reasonable to all those people on the right who say stuff like San Francisco politics. Like, I actually think this is the most misguided and most likely perspective that she feels like it's not inconceivable to me that she walks off this set and calls uh, these uh, five members of the class and say, look, I, you know, you, I got to do that. I got to do that because I've got to project uh, some notion to protect the members of our caucus who come from more purple districts. It's conceivable to me that she does that. I don't um, I don't know. I mean, 60 Minutes is a big platform. They're very calculated and where they release this type of stuff and where they project this. So that's what could it be. But I think. Going into uh, an election in 2020, very unhelpful to do so, particularly if you're worried like that dude who just called in that uh, in some way you're going to alienate a big portion of the Democratic uh, base or party. So you are contending with a group in Congress over here on the left flank are these self-described socialists on the right, these moderates. Pause it. New Year's now. Let me just remind you that this is Leslie Stahl, right? She's full of garbage. They're not self-professed socialists. They're self-professed democratic socialists. They're basically FDR Democrats, but go ahead. On the right, these moderates, and you yourself said that you're the only one who can unify everybody. And the question is, can you? By and large, uh, whatever orientation they came to Congress with, they know that we have to hold the center, that we have to be, go down the mainstream. They know uh, that? They do. But it doesn't look like that. It looks as if it, you're, it's fractured. She likes to minimize the conflicts within her caucus between the moderates and the progressives. You have these wings, AOC and her group on one side. That's no, like five people. No, it's the progressive group. It's more than well, the progressive, five. I'm a progressive, yeah. Wait, what? Wait, can we go do that last part again? Like, I'm not quite sure I understand what happened there. Um, what happened was we just got a new sound drop. Well, wait a second. It's different interviews, too. Yeah, they're different interviews. But yeah, go to that, that totally different interview, different time. I don't know when that took place, but. And the progressives. You have these wings, AOC and her group on one side. That's like five people. No, it's the progressive group. More than well, I'm a progressive. All right. So, you know, this is a um, I, I mean, I think there is it's unclear what Leslie Stahl is saying. It, it, all it is is that Leslie Stahl doesn't understand that maybe something she's when she says there's the progressive group, she could be saying that the progressive caucus. Is that what she's saying? Like, you know, it, it's unclear. And um, but to say that it's like five people in terms of AOC, it, it is. It's rather reductive because um, AOC represents a lot more people in the Democratic Party, at least her perspective on these things, than just the people in Queens. Um, yeah, and it's too early to really tell what's going on with it. The fact that they have like five people is actually really amazing considering the history of politics in the past few decades. And it's trending upwards. Well, and, really and the fact that those five people are the most national Democratic Congress people in the country. Um, and but the other thing that I would imagine Nancy Pelosi knows is that 80 some odd percent of Republicans know who AOC is. Only 60 percent of Democrats know who AOC is, that she has an option here, and that is she can cut bait, which it seems like she's doing. And saying, well, I'm going to allow the Republicans to define her. 
uh, or she can um, try and reorient the, the conversation. She also may feel like she's the worst person to do that because she's San Francisco Nancy Pelosi. So I, I, you I know. think that that's also I mean, Nancy Pelosi is one of the first members of the old progressive caucus, which Sanders founded with, I think, Barney Frank of all people. Right. Maybe. And that was a process in the early 90s of basically everywhere from, you know, Sanders as a social Democrat who was totally marginalized and a couple dozen people who particularly in the context of that time even someone like pelosi was relatively speaking liberal compared to the clintons of the world so i think she's still i think that's what she's doing is she's actually explicitly saying i am the one to reconcile them because i'm not a southern blue dog or whatever and i'm also not this new thing i'm a progressive and i think you know she's kind of historically out of date but i think that that's how she's framing it I think that's a very conscious triangulation that's, within the party. That's a very charitable interpretation. I don't think it's charitable. I think it's years off. I mean, I think she's not in the current historic moment, but I think she totally conceives of herself well, as a I, progressive. I mean, I think, I that think that that's, that's and I mean, to the extent I don't even know whether how much that even matters. I just think, yeah, I mean, and she cut bait on AOC in the clip for sure. But I think she thinks she's in the mainstream well, of the Democratic Party, not, which she might be. I, that's the thing. <laughs> she I might very well be. Is, is backwards because I do think that she is actually probably in the mainstream no, 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 progressive. In a very limited of, ideological sense of where she's pivoting herself. Well, but I, I but think I agree. ideologically speaking, yeah, she is probably Nancy in the Pelosi of the is party. probably in the center of the party. Yeah. The mistake is, it seems to me, uh, that she is deriding those five people more than the uh, conservatives in, in the party. And that is a mistake because the energy, even if the, uh, the, the population is closer, the Democratic Party is closer to where she is in terms of politics, which I, I, I think probably the data would show, but, but who knows how to measure these things. Um, even if it's that's the case, and I'm again, I'm not sure on an issue by issue basis, but by on a, you know the way that people perceive themselves might be, um, she's she's uh, she's swacking at the bee's nest, and I think in in a way that is unhelpful, what and I don't think she understands the well, dimension of it though. Like I I I talked to somebody um, a couple of days ago who is you know different age group. Uh, probably certainly does not identify as a socialist i would say pretty left but is more like a nancy pelosi type of person super pissed that people like pelosi don't have omar's back because of just like this is our team and you're letting somebody take out our that's, team that's and they wouldn't like the way aoc was handled in that interview purely on the that's same exactly tribal what i'm saying grounds. that's what i'm yeah. saying that's what i'm saying is that i think she is mistaking where she is ideologically for where the energy is in the party right now. And because she probably represents the politics of people who are not paying attention and she's whacking the people who are paying attention right now. And I think that's the problem with it. Well, or maybe she's absolutely aware of all of these things, but she just needs to hold on to power. And that supersedes any sort of smart electoral strategy or strategy to appeal to the base or strategy to appeal to people who don't normally vote because there are a lot of them. And I think that that's more important. Like she, there are some things are more important than helping the party uh, be healthy, change with the times or win elections. And that's holding on to power and status. Yeah, it, it could be she's doing that. Um, and she's I'd, doing the thing that uh, centrist liberals do where they're like, I'm the real progressive and everyone to the left of me is just crazy. Yeah. And I think I think that has been effective in the past, frankly. Um, but I just don't think that it's going to be effective this time. I think it's 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 problematic this time around. Um